Give me the charges by seven. Oh. Huh? Taking another big line here. It's big line week. Give me over 46 and a half Bills Seahawks. Okay. I see 47. 47. I see 47, Steve. As you've heard, we've teamed up with BetMGM this season. We'll be using BetMGM lines to make all our picks, and we'll have special offers for you listeners each week. If y'all haven't signed up for BetMGM yet, use bonus code GREENLIGHT, and you will get up to $1,500 first bet offer on your first wager with BetMGM. Here's how it works. One, download the BetMGM app and sign up using bonus code GREENLIGHT. Two, deposit at least $10 and place your first wager on any game. Three, you will receive up to $1,500 in bonus bets if your bet loses. Just make sure you use bonus code GREENLIGHT when you sign up. Chris, mm. it's Steve. White Steve's in Indiana. White Steve. He's on Hi the guys. bench. What's yeah. up, buddy? How we doing? Um, pretty good. How's that? Uh, how's Signetti doing? Uh, these, the, the, they're all in, man. They are all in here. We were out last night. And uh, I'm just trying to – I'm telling this, this story. Uh, sorry to tell this, read, But last year, game day went to JMU. I don't know if you guys remember that. And 23,000 people, just mayhem. And I said, we didn't mention their opponent that day once on the show, which was App State. And App State won that game, cost JMU an undefeated season, ruined the whole day, won in overtime. And I'm just trying to tell these people here, I'm like, listen – just enjoy it. Just have fun. They're like, we're going to win by 80. Signetti Barry's teams. I'm like, relax. Just embrace the journey and take care of business. Who for your play? team. Washington. 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 Classic yeah. Big Ten matchup. Yeah. Big one. Big one. Uh, oh, man, Steve, that fucking Texas game the other night was incredible, wasn't it? This college yeah. football and all its greatness. It was awesome. Steve, awesome. we know you can't keep it in your pants for Coach Saban. But whoa. talk, whoa, talk, whoa, Jeez. Jesus, talk for a minute about the legend that is Lee Corso returning to the old stomping grounds, coach at Indiana for 10 years. Yeah, it's uh, it's been really, really cool. Uh, we were, I was down with Coach uh, Corso this morning getting a coffee. I thought they would give him a free one, he paid, <laughs> and we waited in line for like 20 minutes. And, and it, we're staying at a hotel, and like you walk in, there's a giant, I think I tweeted it. There's a giant picture of the Hoosiers team from the movie uh, with a couple exceptions. Uh, but, like, just the old-school Midwest feel, like just, you know, good, genuine people. But uh, they did not give Coach free coffee. And so we're waiting and waiting and patiently in line. Um, and he finally he's like, I'm paying. And so he gets the two cups of coffee and he leans in and he's like, sweetheart, it better be good. <laughs> <laughs> so he – no, it's really, really – I mean, I was two years old in 1979, which was the year, you know, his team went to the Holiday Bowl, B BYU, I believe, and mm -hmm. their reunion is uh, is here. So uh, random guys coming up, him putting a face to a name uh, is really, really cool, man. Like, you, you know, 10 years back then in this kind of town where there wasn't a lot of success, and he was he was the young guy, you know, going against yeah. Woody Hayes and all, and all those guys. Like, he brought a lot of spunk um, – to the show so we're going to try and show that there's there's a bunch of stuff planned in the show um so it, it it's really really cool to see these people uh remember him and what you know you know chris you talk i mean you still talk to college coaches and in those yeah. times you went through good and bad but like what is that that's 50 no 45 years it probably doesn't um, feel that much longer than you know for now it's it's like 17 18 years ago 20 years ago for our group like it just went by like that I mean, it's it's crazy, crazy, man. We're going to be it's those guys before you know it. No doubt. Al, I'm almost Al Gray's there. coming back in town soon, and you know he's like, we need to go to Dirty Nellie's. And yeah. The guys are going to be coming out of the woodwork. Steve, your favorite spot. Al, Al yep. puts it on the calendar like a year in advance. <laughs> he's like, this Tuesday, <laughs> the Tuesday in October. He's like, November, whatever it is. Yep. Put it on your – yeah, that's how those coaches are, though. Um, no, it's, it's great. It's great to see here, man. It's great. Yeah. All righty, <laughs> before we talk about – college football slate let's let's do our locks what are our standings kingston read them off 
uh, Macon 1942, oh. Chris 18 and 17, Steve 16, 17 and 2. Everybody oh. went 2 and 3 last week. All two right. two weeks ago, just flipped the whole thing. Pretty yeah. good, guys. Uh oh, Steve, you have a question about the nah, standings? I double checked. Yeah, there was a double check. <laughs> <A> double check. <laughs> I was hey, a double check. That's my, it, it's in Discount my calendar. Double check. I, I put that in my calendar. When you do green light, double check the standings. <laughs> Haven't seen one of these in a while. <laughs> no. Is, have we seen one of these in a while? Oh, a championship belt? Discount double check? No. no. Not in a Haven't while. Mm. No. Jets favored by a touchdown. This mm, it's good to know. Real. All right. Who's up first? I'm up first, huh? Mm. Oh boy. There we go. I don't care. All right. Because all at right. worst at, at at worst, this is thirty one thirteen. I don't care it's the that it's the biggest number. Give me the Lions oh, at home. God damn it. Eleven and a half. Oh, it's literally Is that what it is? Eleven and a half. There's a couple big ones, right, this week? That sucks. Now I can't bet that game or anything. You can. Why no, not? Then I gotta worry like rising about rising tide, you know? Standings. We can all be happy. No, that's not possible. <laughs> I, sure not? It's not 12 and a half? No? It's 11 uh, and a half. That's what sure she said. Be, 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 <laughs> that MGM line, Steve. Download uh, the app. All right. Download the app or get a Matt who has so diligently put all the lines. And thank you, the odds, too. You can keep that. Between. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Who's next? Steve. It is Steve. Steve's up. It's a I'm Steve sandwich it today. Golly, I, I can't care. fucking. Damn it. Jags are off the board. Philly. Oh. Okay. Philly. Notice nobody's screaming at Plus you. Plus two and a half. I would love that. I would love for you to be right, Steve. I won't be playing that I game. Know. I would love for you to be right, Steve. Hey, hey, how much how much whiskey or bourbon was in that cup you chugged? That thing was a heavy <laughs> pour, bro. Had to be about three to four units of alcohol in there. <laughs> I thought it was like had a to four. do a cup. Had to do a couple segments after that. Whoa. Honestly, though. I will put it down for I will put it down for months on end and I can pick it right back up. It's mm-hmm. no problem. Mm-hmm. Ancestry.com. Mm-hmm. Figure that one out. Mm-hmm. Okay. My ancestors all ate potatoes. Okay. We're fine. I the, the, honestly, I picked it I sw- slugged that thing and finished the show didn't feel fucked up at all. We had some LeBron James Hennessy this morning. Um it was How's very that? good. Very good. Even for my like, Irish taste. Room temperature? Yeah, it was room temp cognac. Yeah, I can't, it was very good. I can't do that. Very good. Okay, uh, so I got to pick. I guess it, you got I'll two. take another blowout. Okay. I'll take the Denver Broncos. Okay. Yeah, I'll take the Denver Broncos. Is that a 10? Mm-hmm. Against the Carolina Panthers. Hey, is Sertan back? Do we know? I don't think it's known. I'll Not, tell you. I don't know that it matters. I'll tell you. But we're just taking blowouts. I'm going to take this is the weekend of the big numbers. You Full know, participants on Wednesday. FP, FP bro. He's Ooh. fine. He's, he's taking his fine. neuroprotectants. Yeah, that he's right. getting plenty of sleep. And we're going to take care of business. That game's in Denver. Yeah, we yeah, played this yes. twice. Yes, like, it is. Come on now. Yeah. That's this is a Bronco spot. Let's ride. Next up, Chris. Oh, all right, Chris Long. <laughs> Chris Long, you know, a day ago when the Cleveland Browns were plus nine and a half, mm. uh, you know, I would, I would, you know, let me take the, uh, the, let me take the Browns over team total okay. 16 and a half. Wow. I was okay. thinking about that. That was on my list. Can't think about it anymore. Uh, no, I'll root for you though. And I know Thank you don't you. root for me. I do root I for you. We... There's just one guy in the, cause yeah. I can always see his I, face. I, his, his I was snide just going to say. We do both root against Macon. Well, um, he's got the he's got the villain thing going. He he likes to be yeah. a villain, and then he's a villain. Nice then he looks around and he goes. Your... <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged on that one. Yeah, <laughs> that's, what that's what he does uh, every it. time. Hey. I'll All tell right, you who's going to take next. Can I guess? Oh, no, no, Steve's going. Hold on. Can I get uh, Saints team total under? Wow. Well, sure you can. 15 and a half. Wow. It's not many points. No. No. No, it's not. They're at the Chargers. Yes, they yep. are. Love Jesse. Okay. Um, Hurry up. Jets, Patriots, over 41. 
and the crowd goes silent, <laughs> mild. <laughs> uh, that game's right. that game's in New England, huh? You got that right. Yeah. Those are all over where the games are. We are. We are. Usually not so. <laughs> Batting a thousand. It's right a lot now. of games. <laughs> they move around. Sometimes they're in London. How many times has a two and five team been a touchdown favorite on the road? Let's get research on that one. Yeah, seriously. Enhance. Good question. Points Thank galore. You. I am going to back Tua Tagovailoa and the Miami Dolphins at home. I like that play. Minus mm. three and a half. I really do. I like that play, mate. Thank Ooh. you, Chris. Give me under 41 and a half Chiefs Raiders. I have one total written down here. Can you get one second? Let me just look at these totals. I'm going to tell you what I think here. I'm going to tell you what I think. This is smart. It's good to tell you what I think. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I got one. Oh, you do? I, yeah. I got one. I'm taking it next. Let's go Falcons Bucks under. Okay. Okay. Sterling I like Shepard, that pick, careful. Chris. Yeah. Chris, has anyone ever called you Topher? Yeah, uh, my ex-girlfriend back in the day. Also, I had an uh, instant messenger um, name called Topher Kid 13. Yeah. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was that AOL was that, messenger? That was AOL. Is that the precursor to Greege Slanger 13? Yeah, or it was, the... it took a dark turn when I started slanging Greege. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I was into all the ASL chat rooms. You're up again. <laughs> American Sign Language? Oh, I'm up again. Give me the charges by seven. Oh. Huh? Taking another big line here. It's big line week. Give me over 46 and a half Bills Seahawks. Okay. I see 47. 47. I see 47, Steve. Damn, I really got to fucking take it. You're on, you're on the wrong app, pal. Okay. So I got to take another total. Damn. Colts, Texans under 46. Look out. Like Anthony Richardson. You know? Yeah. No Nico. No Nico. Gus Bradley, though. Yeah, clock might not be running that much in this yeah. one. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Screw it. Jaguar sandwich. Give me the Jags plus four. Pack. Just have the Texans at home. We'll have the Lions at home. Is that the it's highest a, total? Play. I'm going to take that total. Yeah, I like that over, too. Um, all right, my turn. It's got to be a side, and I'm going with the worst pick on the board. Give me the Cowboys plus four and a half. Okay. Give me, I forgot about the Niners. I didn't know I could pick the Niners. Oh, fuck, it's Sunday night. We can't? No, you can't. I I didn't think about it. Well, good news, pal. No, I can't. No, I can't. You could minus one of your other picks. Oh, yeah, because, no, I did a Browns. I have to do a, I have to do a total. Uh, I have to do a total. Um, I I, I got the, I'm going to do the over in Jacksonville. Okay. I'm going to do the over in Jacksonville. Like it. Points, man. Like it, too. Points. Like it too. All right, fellas, y'all got a beat on your half points? Yeah, I do. Um, <clears throat> should it be Dallas? I'm going to tell you who it should be for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and knock oh. that Chargers down to six and a half, just in case. I'm going to take Philly three and a half. That would be That's a full difficult point. to do. <laughs> Why? Because it's a full what point. Yeah, what are you all of a sudden? Just Three eat? full point Friday. Two it's two and a half on Bet MGM, aka Matt's book. Bet Matt. Well, poor Matt. I was rooting for him so hard. Appreciate you, Steve. You want to make it three? Yes. I bet you do. I bet you would, Panama Red. Uh, I'll take Jets pass down to forty point five. That's a key number. That forty one. Now, here comes the point in the show where I tell you all the stuff that I actually like. (laughs) Believe it or not, I've been winning money the last couple weeks, which I'm just terrible at this. I'm terrible at giving you, the consumers, the best picks. I'm good at hoarding the best picks for myself and deciding against these picks by Sunday. Okay. So let me tell you something I do like. I love Macon's play. Thank you. That's going to be bet in real life. I also... He means the Lions. Yeah, the Lions. Sorry. I have Macon's play. There's five of them. (laughs) I'm probably gonna. I'm probably gonna put a teaser down this weekend. I think the tease guy. Tease guy is back. There's there's a couple games that like are 
And you got to know Vegas is thinking teasers, Lions, Chiefs, Chargers, Broncos. Broncos. Those are all very teasable games. Mm -hmm. So look at those games. A couple interesting nuggets, guys, for you. Jalen Hurts, I couldn't do it because it would, it would, I wanted to take the under in uh, Cincinnati, okay. but I'm not going to do it because it would be an anti-Eagles pick. But Hurts is yep. now 13, 19, and 1 uh, against the spread on the road. Hurts is 20 and 11 to the under on the road in his career, including 10 and 3 since the start of last season. That's wow. the best mark of any quarterback in the NFL, or the worst, the most predictable mark if you're looking at unders. Also, Cleveland is 23 and 40 straight up and 30, 32 and 1 against the spread with a backup quarterback. Um, since the start of last season, Cleveland's played 12 games with a backup quarterback between Joe Flacco, DTR, PJ Walker, and can you guess the other guy? Oh, same again. Jeff Driscoll. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, exactly. Again. I think he won. And in those games, they're actually six and six straight up and seven and five against the spread. They also have not lost by double digits to the Ravens a lot in general. So um Is this why I had to earmuff on the Friday show? Yeah, I was gonna tell you if I if the line hadn't moved to eight and a half that maybe I was gonna buy the half point up to ten. Gotcha. And uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Colts five and two against the spread this season, Texans one and six. You know, I it's an interesting be- game. Yeah. I should have taken the Dolphins down to three points, but I have a feeling that Jets Pats game is going to land right on forty one. Hey, another one in your favor too. Yeah, uh, Kyler Murray has only started two games on the road on short rest in his NFL career in two thousand twenty one. Thirty to twelve loss to Detroit in 2020, 28 to twenty one loss to Seattle. He's zero two against the spread, failing to cover by seventeen point five points per game. I do and not. This is mean the farthest travel. Small sample size. Small sample size. Small okay. man. Small sample size sincerely do not mean to make light of it but you would think he doesn't need as much rest i'm curious in the in the two comeback games if he performs well probably uh, i'm always curious probably but uh but i think this defense is swiss cheese a little bit okay what else guys what do we not hit i think that's just about all of them chiefs raiders anybody scared off i'm actually gonna I, i'm gonna definitely cheese the t- the chiefs but there's like, commanders yeah. Bears commanders is like surprised the Bears. What's gonna listening. happen? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? And where's that line gonna go if Jaden Daniels is up? I don't think he's playing. I don't think so either. But what would happen? You think? Even money. Even money. Pick them. So uh, I think it would swing the other way. Full six points. No, you that's was- six. About five. Yeah, might be right. Five. Four. Home. I could see commanders like one and a half. Okay. I agree with Steve, actually. Thank you, man. Um, well, I mean, that would be a dinged Jaden. If it were I just, healthy Jaden. I just feel like, yeah. with as our friend Kyle Long pointed out about the Kermit doll. You call your the, brother your friend? Well, yeah. I mean, it's, well, I was saying friend of the program. Now he's, he's my not, friend, your he's brother. your friend, my brother. My brother, Kyle Long, <laughs> who pointed out that the Kermit the Frog thing is still fresh in Patrick Mahomes' yeah. mind. I think the whole thing last year is fresh in their mind. And two totally different teams. Two totally yeah. different teams. So, I mean, like, I would be inclined to, to bet. Another one on my list was definitely I want to bet the Niners. Um, inevitably, I'm going to bet the Pats. Okay. They're catching a whole touchdown. And, uh, yeah. Chris, who's your favorite player on the Chiefs defense not named Chris Jones? It might be Leo Chennault. That's what I was going to I love that dude, man. It might be Leo Chennault. This is, yeah. this is, that's a good question. You can kind of, like. Uh, but I think Trent McDuffie, as Matt just pulled up, is the probably the best player not named Chris Jones. What about Nick Bolton? Nick Bolton's pretty amazing. Justin too. Reed. Justin Reed's pretty amazing too. But I Carl think, Loftus. Uh, I like Carl Loftus a lot. I just think Leo Chanel is a lot of fun to watch. He ran with somebody on a wheel the other yeah. day that he had no business running with. I think it was. Oh, who was uh, that? Who was that? I think it was a running back. Was it Mason? Or, no, no, no. It was Juszczyk. You check oh, yeah. had a you check had a st- you know five steps on him ran him down big strong guy big linebacker good in the box good enough outside yeah I mean mm-hmm. he's he's a stud. What's up everybody? If you've been listening to the show for a while, you probably heard us talk about one of the many Airbnbs we've stayed in. We had a lot of great times at Airbnbs in places like Phoenix, Buffalo, Green Bay, and Minneapolis. I'll never forget some of the memories we made, like hearing the coyotes howl in the desert, 
playing pool late in the night with the guys and interviewing legends like Brian Dawkins right from the comfort of our beautiful Airbnb in Phoenix for the Super Bowl. We love the convenience and it's way easier to hang out with your friends when you have a big place to share rather than staying at a, a hotel with separate rooms. Yeah, and we'll be booking Airbnbs for every trip we take this season. Is that right, cowboy? Hosting on Airbnb is such a good opportunity if you live in a big football town. A nice vacation with the whole family sounds expensive, right? Well, when fans come to your town for those big games, your home could be an Airbnb. Hosting is a practical way to earn extra money to make your vacation truly special. If you're listening to this from home, what you might not realize is that your home is worth more than you think. Find out how much at airbnb.com slash host. All right, Steve, AP top five is Oregon, Georgia, Penn State, Ohio State, Texas. Is that your top five? I have Texas ahead of Penn State right now. Texas ahead of Penn State. All right. The- Did it, man. And last Did week anybody you catch said- some of those college football games last week? Yeah, you see my man with the hair? Oh, yeah. He, you know there's like a four-head, five-head? Oh. That's a three-head. Yes, yes. That is. dude, where was he in Knoxville? Uh, Austin. Austin? Yeah. Yeah, one of the – I didn't – you know. I mean, some of the best flow. Yeah, it was incredible. Ever. Hey, a lot of, lot of green light fans in Austin. Really? A lot of people, yeah. No way. Yeah, got a lot. Got a lot of reaction. Uh, they love <laughs> you it. Got a lot of hey, fuck you in that stupid <laughs> podcast. No, love, love, love the green light. That's good, love man. Yeah. Um. Okay, so what's the best game of the weekend? Ooh, for tonight, somebody like me, Friday night, Boise State, UNLV. Uh, stay up late. Awesome. Game. All right, who's who's who, who? Who should I bet? Oof. I feel like the world's on Boise. I think they win by a field goal. Therefore, I say UNLV. Okay. Number 17, at 1030, Steve, you got a better chance of, no, that ain't going to okay. happen. All right. All right, Steve. It's, Just it's get the not, Mario I've got to get my rest for the professionals, okay? The Understood. most important night's sleep is not the – I know, you love the, Sundays. The, the most important sleep is not the night before the day. It's, it's the two, night It's the, the night, night before. before the – Correct. You got it. Yeah. You played football. They told us Correct. all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We all got it. it to keep us in our rooms on Thursday nights. Steve, mm. it's, it's not yet Halloween – and Kalen DeBoer has two losses to his Alabama record. Yeah. Kalen calls you. He says, Steve, it's Kalen. I need some advice. What are you telling the coach? Tell your quarterback to stop turning the ball over. Damn. You're not just, mincing any words. Just have that. Yeah, just have he's, that combo. He's put them in all these spots, guys. It's, it's, it's the, the, the decision-making, the, the processing windows, throwing the football. I didn't think he ran with conviction. Last week against Tennessee, I mean, he got a chance to go 14 nothing on the road. Uh, if you told me last week that Tennessee was going to score 24 points, I would have told you Alabama wins that game. Uh, but the problem was the offensive mistakes turned into uh, defense for getting put in bad situations, and you give Nico enough throws, he's going to make them. And uh, Jalen did not. And that, that, that's, the, that's the biggest crux I see uh, let me, with Alabama. Let me take you inside a dumb guy's head here. This is me. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take you down through the slate here. All right, yeah, Miami, go. Florida State. Florida State, not very good, far as I can see. Miami does not like Florida State. That should be a blowout. Am I, I wrong? Would let, I would let – no, you're to, I'm, I'm totally with you. Miami's okay. going to be on the board for me. I would lay up to 30 points in that game. They haven't Ooh, beat them since what is 20, the line? Tw- 21. Yeah. They, uh, they, they haven't beat them since 20, 2020. Uh, Cristobal, I think it was his first year – Florida State went there and put it on them, 45-3. Uh, Cam Ward should be able to do whatever he wants. Uh, I think they named their score. I am looking forward to landing. Is it landing Bielma? Who's the, yeah, the Illinois, yeah. coach? Uh, Illinois coach? I'm looking I'm looking forward to that game. As a Bevel Conway watch and also, yeah, it could mm-hmm. be. Really? Orange and green? But orange and bre- green? Yeah, but you don't know. You don't yellow? know. If, yeah, you don't know what Oregon's going to wear. I like bright colors, man. You know how that Carolina Washington game looked the other day? That was fun. There's okay. there's a one we already had the one seed that will not be topped. Okay. Well that, do, was, that was that was Penn State at USC. That was the most beautiful uniform game we can have. I don't know. Penn State, Illinois was gorgeous. If it were a Rose Bowl, hit a little different as a conference game. Can Notre Dame can Notre Dame lose to Navy this weekend? Yes. Would you bet Navy this weekend? 
I would, but it feels very public. Uh, going back and watching Notre Dame's defense, Chris, like Georgia Tech's a team that really does a lot of pre-snap stuff, tries to mess with your eyes, gives you a lot of candy. And Notre Dame did a great job on the back end communicating that stuff, and we're all on the same page. But this week, when you're playing Navy, that's assignment football. You know, it, 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 it's, it's a big, big deal. Navy, you know, they call it the sling T, uh, and they throw it, man. They got, I think, 51 plays over, over 30 or 40 yards, 10 touchdown passes. I think the Navy record for touchdown passes is 13, so he's almost there. Um, and uh, Horvath has been great. He's going to be on game day from the field uh, tomorrow, which will be awesome. But, yeah, Notre Dame's got it. Because here's what I'm worried about for Notre Dame. If Navy gets the lead, Will they go back to their old ways and take the air out of the ball and keep and limit Notre Dame's possessions? Because Notre Dame's not great on offense. Uh, and the only, and, and the thing about Navy, too, is the one offense they did play was Memphis, and Navy beat them 56-44. So Notre Dame should have success. I just wonder how many possessions are they going to get. Can uh, Vandy continue to cover as a dog? Absolutely. 18 and, uh, a half. and a half, dude. Number one, number one team in third down, I believe, in the country. That's because of Diego Fabia. Love uh, that guy. The, oh, he's awesome. Uh, the way they, they again, the way they, they, they spread you out and make guys on the defense make decisions. Uh, he, he feels like he's always got an answer for whatever the team does against him defensively, and uh, it's really, really cool to watch. I'm really interested to see how Texas comes out because there used to be an old adage. I think Bruce Feldman wrote an article back on the day about teams the week after they played Nick Saban Alabama teams, and it was not good. And the physicality that Georgia brought the other night, I'm really curious to see how Texas responds to that because that was that was why I picked Georgia. Uh, I didn't think it was not Texas' fault. It's kind of like Indiana here. Um, you only play the teams that are on your schedule, and uh, they just haven't played good teams. So uh, how does Texas come out? That's that's a huge factor to me in that game. And should, should I bet the home team tomorrow? Virginia, Virginia Cavaliers. Oh, they're playing UNC. You, you see Virginia hang thirty-one on Clemson, Steve. I saw they were on bad beats. It was great. Dabble tried freaking covering against his old guy, like punching in. Clemson always knows what the score is when it comes to that stuff, but they act like they don't. You mm-hmm. know what? Starters were in the whole game for mm-hmm. Clemson. Yeah, Tony Elliott. Tony Elliott came right in that back door. Yep. Well, yes, he did. <laughs> Easy. I, Talking about the spread. Did somebody carve that pumpkin? Yeah, um, our friend uh, Chris Allen. Well, okay. Chris Allen did, and his buddy. Yeah, he carved that pumpkin. Gunner Kane. Okay. Gunner Kane. Shout out to Gunner. Cool. Yeah. Well, uh, Steve, enjoy. <laughs> and can you find Steve? Can you find the other Steve and take a picture with him? Belichick. Who's the other Steve? Oh, that's that. That's what's crazy to me. I've said, Chris, is the best story. Not Army Navy this year has been Signetti in Indiana. Uh, with what they've done, I mean, this place is on fire and all in on everything. And who's there on the other side trying to stop the best story in college football? A Belichick. Let's go, Steve. Let's go. Is Google yeah. him? Google him. I, Google Google New England's defense this year and last year. Ooh. Is were they really Brooks... number one against the run last year? Yeah, they were. Was Bill, um, okay. Bill was right about that. Yeah, but they also had some guys that they don't have right now. Correct. That's for sure. That's case. for sure. Yeah. It's always the case. Curtis Rourke, thumb. Is it okay? I don't think. No, he's. I, they. I think they gave Pete Thamel the word indefinitely. Uh, how long he's going to be out? And I mean, I watched the tape. He cut that. That that tough guy. He 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 busts his thumb. He's throwing, and the defensive end hits him on his throwing thumb on play twenty five. He played thirteen more plays. And he's basically just slingshotting quick screens to end the half. And he tries a Hail Mary at the end right about, yeah, he threw it from the 50, and I don't think it got to the 20. I don't think it got to the 15-yard <laughs> line. And I'm yes. like, they got to make a change. And uh, David Jackson comes in, uh, starts the second half. They're already up 28-7. And I'm watching, like, all right, they're just going to run the ball, get out of here, then they'll have full practice with their backup quarterback. No, not Signetti. Throws the ball for the first six plays. Two touchdown passes for the kid. Ton of confidence. They scored twenty eight more points against the Black Shirts. Fifty six well, seven. It is Nebraska. School record for uh, consecutive games scoring forty or more here, Bloomington. Guy can coach. Yeah. Hoosiers. All right, Steve. All right, Steve. Have a great weekend. Yeah, man. We'll see do, you soon. 
Do you guys like the candy cane pants? Yeah. Which candy cane paint, pants? The Indiana, Indiana wears their warm ups. Indiana hoops. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, I do. They have I shorts. Do. I was thinking about going with the shorts. Ooh. Well, that's a different question. Different question completely. Okay. Yeah. You should wear the overalls. Yeah, nah, overalls. Can't go overalls. Why not? Can't go overalls. Why not? Because you need biceps and those are long gone and you got to have like the muscular. Yeah, but you can put like a long sleeve yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, They're versatile. Way better. All right, buddy. I don't, I'm not a I'm not a hairy guy either. You need hair like chest there. You gotta have chest. Oh, hair. We've been staring at that yeah. forearm for the past forty minutes. Yeah, it's, it's not nothing. Look at that. That's strong. Bye, Steve. Take care, Steve. Love you guys. Love you.